Hey guys, what's happening? So thought I'd do a chamfer test in aluminum on my 3018. I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around how this whole thing works with the chamfer. Really what I'm wondering about is the uh, Z0. If it's going to actually, once I create a zero on my uh, first first part here, that it's going to uh, go here. So I created a, a, a pocket and a chamfer, but I'm going to have to do a bit change, a manual bit change, because I don't have an auto changer. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how this whole thing works. So, um, so I'm going to create a pocket here. I'm going to simulate this. Um, if I bring this out, we'll speed up. Okay. So I'm only doing a uh, 0 0.1 millimeter uh, cut, just because I'm still getting used to this uh, machine with a new brush and spindle. I'm going to go underneath the part. Sorry, down here. I'm, I'm going to try to fully cut it out, and you should be able to see the. Uh, it will come through the part. See, I want to cut all the way through it. Um, it's going to be mounted on my little vise thing there, and then when I come back. And do a like I said, I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around this whole thing. <laughs> like, uh, like it's really just the positioning. So like when I actually change the bit to my chamfer bit, do I have to like reposition? Do I have to completely like re-zero x, y, and z, or do I just need to re-zero uh, z axis? Like, is it going to hold the position? Because I'm not. I have to do diff two different post process here, not just one, because I'm all I have the free license in, at Fusion 360. But uh, I don't have a tool changer either, too, so I can't do offset. So I'm trying to figure that out. So here is the chamfer, and I have a 6.35 millimeter or a quarter inch chamfer bit. And uh, it's going to go back and do a chamfer. So hopefully, I want to get this mount on my vise, and uh, hopefully this will work. And that way, because I want to figure out these these processes, you know, like how what do I do? Like because I want to make some parts out of aluminum with chamfering on them, and I want to figure out the whole you know, uh, re-zeroing. So, all right, let's go back to the uh, machine. All right, so I got everything loaded up. Do my first test, my G code here. And <laughs> that went good. Why did the spindle turn off? Oh, weird. This is a, a bad wire. So what I decided to do is just do a manual right out of my spindle. I did, a, I did a video about how I wired this thing up. So I actually have a viability control from Mach 3, or I can do a manual override using the uh, adjuster. Alright, so pocket's done. Now I'm going to switch over to a 45 degree, well, they call it 90 degree chamfer bit. Uh, got this on Amazon. So, what I'm hoping for is that I can just pop this out, reset the Z, and it's going to do a nice chamfer. And hopefully, I don't have the zero X, Y again. So, um, that's actually one of the reasons why I chose the same size bit, same diameter, quarter inch. Uh, 6.35 millimeter, I think. All right, so I'm gonna switch the bit out, redo the uh, Z. All right, so I got the chamfer tip as close as I possibly could. So I'm gonna reset the zero. So I'm zeroed out, and now I'm gonna load the second pass, which in my case for this job, it's chamfer test pass two. And hit play. For some reason, like I said, the uh, new manual here, manual pump or coolant pump, this thing right here. So I'm gonna turn that on. All right, I'll play this. 
I'm gonna turn this on full full speed, full thousand. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what happens. All right, it chamfered. So what I learned on this learn here was that I don't have to re-zero um, X and Y. We'll hold it zero. So all I'm saying when I need to play with my speeds and feeds and um, uh, yeah, I'm looking at my bit to make sure my didn't jack up my bit here. It's pretty good. Yeah, the the edges don't aren't great. But uh I mean, I was going at probably like a hundred millimeters a, uh, a minute, I guess. So not very right, fast. So here's a close look at that chamfer. So I ran it a couple times. Um, I, I ran it uh, three times. Yeah, I just ran the same thing over. Each time it got smoother and smoother. So when I do my real part, I'm probably going to do two different chamfer cycles. So one of me like, like a roughing pass, maybe then a finish pass. But it definitely got smoother the more I, I ran the cycle. So. That's what I'm going for. So my part that I'm, I'm going to be doing here, I'm doing a, uh, a Dana 20 uh, transfer case cover. So just enough room to do on this machine. Um, so I want to do some other like old Bronco parts. I have an old Bronco if you're not, if you're new to my channel. So I want to make uh, some uh, Bronco parts. But all right, guys, cool. Learning every day. Fun. Awesome.